Update. My best friend's husband confessed his feelings for me. Her life was very difficult and she says she's finally happy. How do I tell her? Original post. Me a 32 female and I also 32 female met in college and were best friends ever since. Mia was always very family-oriented and romantic, even when she was a kid. Her ultimate life dream is to have a big happy family. Sadly, Mia had very difficult childhood. She lost her entire family, younger sister and both parents, from ages 10 to 12. She was in the system for a while, until her horrible uncle took her in. Obviously, Mia was in this very mentally unwell, and just a few months ago she managed to get off her meds and stop going to therapy. Mia and her husband Rick, 34 male, are together for two years now and married for six months. In my opinion, it was all a bit rushed, but Mia was getting scared she won't be able to have children if she waited, and to be honest, Rick seemed to be her perfect match. She was aware things are going faster than she initially wanted, but reassured me that her and Rick are on the same page. It's her life after all, so if she's happy, so am I. Rick and I neither love nor hate each other, he's my friend's husband, so at best we tolerate one another. We don't have any common interests, and our lifestyles or life goals are different. Fast forward to the New Year's Eve, me and Rick organized a party and invited me and my partner 31 male to join. Everything seemed fine, Rick and I were chatting with some friends when I decided to go outside to breathe in some fresh air since the house was very crowded. Rick followed few minutes later, we casually talked about some irrelevant things when he suddenly says he's in love with me. I thought it's one of his stupid jokes and I was totally blindsided by it, so I just laughed, joked back and hoped he will drop it. Sadly, he just doubled down and got visibly upset, started saying how he doesn't want to spend another year unhappy and how being with Mia is exhausting because of her trauma and he deserves better than that. At this point I got very nauseous and just wanted to get away from it all, so I, I told him he has no idea what he's saying and we will talk once he gets his act together. Mia and Rick are trying for a baby, so I obviously have to tell her as soon as possible. The thing is, I have no idea how to do that. How do you approach a person to tell her the best part of her life is a lie? How do you address something like this with a person who spent vast majority of her life on antidepressants and being suicidal? I don't even know if she'll believe me. I also don't want to lose her as a friend, but I can't watch her be all happy and giddy about him when I know he doesn't even respect her. There are times I think to just ignore it all and never mention it, but I know that isn't right. Now for the top advice before reading the update. You have to tell her, and it may mean she chooses him and you lose the friendship. But I couldn't live with this secret. I get her one-on-one -on -one as soon as possible, and be upfront that you have bad news so she can sort of be prepared. I'd frame it as, this is so horrible, I don't want it to be true, but her husband is not a good man and she needs to know. It's up to her what she does with this information, and you'll be there for her whatever she decides, even if that's staying away for a while. Her world might totally crash down with this, offer any and all support you feel is right, but be patient with her potentially lashing out as she reacts to this news. This. Hopefully you won't lose your friend OP and odds are he'll deny this through his teeth, but I couldn't live with this if it were me. Just be prepared for her not to believe you. If you can possibly tell her with her therapist in attendance, I'd suggest doing that. Oh boy. She needs to get back on her meds and continue therapy, or at least just continue therapy. She's not in a good place mentally to be a mother. She has so much to work through. She really needs to focus on herself for a while. If that means having a baby later on when she's in a better place, then so be it. I don't know how you tell her that. If Rick doesn't want to be with her anymore, he needs to tell her and end things. He never should have married her in the first place if he can't handle for better or worse. He needs to stop trying to get her pregnant too. He's a jerk if he does and then leaves her. If he wants to fix things, then individual therapy and couples therapy. It was her psychiatrist's decision to go off the meds since she's been on them for almost two decades. We all know how difficult it is to stop taking them, which is why I'm reluctant to tell her even though I know that I need to. It's just very turbulent period for her and I have no idea how will she react. You need to tell her, but before you do, you need to try and record another conversation with him about this issue without him knowing, depending on how laws are where you are from on consent for recording, with him saying what he said. Because even if Mia does believe you without a single piece of proof, he will almost certainly try turn this on you and say that you were the one trying to come on to him. Yes, I will definitely try to talk to him again about it for the proof. It's just that the entire thing is absolutely insane to me. I know love is blind, but I can't imagine anybody buying the story that I was the one who initiated the conversation. The fact he actually did it is crazy enough. I've been with my partner longer than he even knows Mia, and he doesn't know me enough to be in love with me. I've never given any idea to this man I might be interested, and neither did he. 
I have moments when I question my own sanity and wonder if that conversation even happened. And now for the update. Shortly after I posted, Rick called to apologize for his behavior. He said he never meant for it to come out, but that he's very unhappy with his marriage, and now he sees no escape with the baby on the way. He then said he would never be this confused about his feelings if Mia didn't have feelings for my boyfriend, on which they have been trying to work for a while now, but he's so exhausted from it all that he just wants to end it. He said he's confused about his feelings for me, but also he wanted to hurt her so she can see what she's putting him through, and how painful it is to be in love with somebody who's a constant in their lives. Basically, he tried to spin this entire thing on Mia's trauma. I told him if he's so unhappy with his choices, he can just leave without vicious lies, and that he didn't have any reason to put me or my boyfriend in the middle of this. He just said he didn't mean for it to happen, and we ended the call on that. I went to Mia afterwards and told her about Rick's confession. Obviously, she was heartbroken about this, but seemed to accept it at the face value. I then told her what Rick said in his call, since I thought she deserves to know that he's making up stuff behind her back. That's when she broke down and said she had no idea how it happened, that she would never act on it anyways, and that Rick was never supposed to tell me about it, but that's something between them that they are so close to resolving. She said she saw how my partner treats me and my kid, and how that's something she desperately wants, but was just so unlucky. Call me selfish, but if we were friends as I believed we were, I would expect her to come forward with this, trauma-related or not. It isn't just between Rick and Mia, it involves other people now that were unwillingly put into this entire situation. She spent one-on-one -on -one time with my partner so many times, and she never felt bad enough to tell me, or at least to attempt to stay away from him and give me some fake reason for it. I know she needs support now, but I can't do this. I simply can't and won't, and if I'm the bad guy for it, then so be it. I'm fine with stupid crush, we're all only humans, and especially with her history, I would 100% understand and help her out if she came to me about it. Lying and the betrayal that went on for years on the other hand, I simply cannot forgive that easily, especially after everything we've been through, and things she knows I've been through. I told her I need some space. She tried calling me after I left, but I'm too tired to talk to her at all and can't see myself doing so anytime soon. Yeah, honestly this is a lot of extra drama that you don't need. It's unnecessary. You and your family should put space between her and hers. And continue on with your life. Thanks for the advice. I'm really sorry how it turned out, since it all could have been avoided if she was honest from the start. Now I just don't feel comfortable around them, and I hate to ditch my friendship over this. You're not ditching everything. Your friend just told you she thirsts for your partner, objectively as I don't think she actually like him, just the type of person he is. I don't think any sane person would want that person around for quite some time. The two of them involved the two of you in their drama, and you are deciding to not dive into that mess. Good for you. Focus on the two of you because they're only focusing on themselves. I think I really needed to hear this. Thank you. Oof, Mia is damaging everyone else around her because she stopped working on her trauma. It doesn't even sound like she's actually in love with your partner or Rick to be honest. It sounds like she desperately wants a family for obvious reasons. And since you have what she wants, family, a kid and a loving partner, she's been imagining herself in your shoes, with your partner, etc. I do not blame you for stepping away from this entirely. Mia and Rick have handled this in situation in an emotionally immature and destructive way. They've caused harm to your friendship and basically tried to break up your family. I feel sorry for Mia, but she needs to want to do better for herself and you need to prioritize yourself and your child right now. Mia and Rick are behaving too irresponsible and destructive at the moment. Yeah, I agree. I think it sounds like she desperately wants a loving and stable family, not like she's actually in love with OP's boyfriend. I think stepping away is a good idea regardless. I'm sorry, but are you sure you got it right? Is she in love with your boyfriend or with the idea of your boyfriend? I'll explain. My best friend is in a situation that I'd love to be in, well, certain parts of it not her whole life. Without going into too many details, I'd really really love to be with someone who is, in regards to some things, like her husband. I do not want to be with her actual husband. It's not a topic that really comes up in conversation, because it sounds like a crappy thing to say, oh woe is me, I want so much this and that, you're so lucky to have a husband who does this and that. Really? And again, I want some things in a partner, I don't want her partner. It had never crossed my mind that if I happened to interact one-on-one -on -one with the guy it might be inappropriate. Like, what? I'm not going to jump his bones or flirt with him or anything other than act in a civilized way. How did you go from, she wants someone who treats her with love and care, and would treat her kid with love and care, like your boyfriend, to how did she dare being alone with my boyfriend without telling me anything? Your friend likely wants her own husband to pick up certain behaviors. 
She didn't tell you anything because there was nothing to say. She has a crush on some beautiful thing she saw, but she never meant to act inappropriately towards you or him, or to do anything to take those things from you. I think since OP told her the lie that her husband said, being in love or having a crush on OP's partner, and she broke down and said it was true, and she never would act on it, and she was working on it, it does imply she had these feeling for OP's boyfriend, and not wanting someone like him. She is justifying by saying her own husband doesn't treat her like OP's partner does and she wanted that. It probably started as jealousy or wanting someone like him, but it evolved to him. Since she did say she wouldn't act on it, it does tell OP there was something to act on and she should have said something or at the very least distance herself from OP's partner. This is exactly what it is. You don't hide jealousy from your best friend and you certainly don't actively try to hide it for years. It's something that gets brought up in a casual conversation between friends. I don't doubt her when she says she would never do anything about it, but I don't feel comfortable knowing she had those feelings in the first place. Last story. Cousin's gift ruined Christmas and possibly my relationship. I come from a big family, and our holidays involve extended family, like second cousins etc. My fiancé and I are in our mid-twenties, and there are a lot of cousins in their twenties and thirties. Last night we had our big Christmas party. It was fun to see everyone, until it was time to exchange presents. My cousin Anna hands out pink envelopes to all the 20s and 30s men who have married or dated into the family. My fiancé received one and quickly put it in his pocket after opening it. I was distracted with opening my gifts and didn't ask to look at it. About 20 minutes later, my cousin Rachel pulls me aside and says Anna is giving out cards with instructions on how to get a discount subscription to her lonely fans. Rachel's boyfriend got one of the pink cards and showed Rachel because he was weirded out. I'm angry at this point because I suspect my fiancé's card also has an OF discount, so I ask to talk with him, and he denies getting a card from Anna. I tell him I saw her hand you one, and I watched you put it in your pocket. I go to grab his pocket, and he suddenly remembers getting a card, but claims he didn't open it. I take it from him, and of course it's already opened, and of course it's about freaking lonely fans. I go back inside to confront Anna and find her already arguing with a different cousin who is upset because her husband has already tried looking at Anna's page. Anna claims she's just trying to get her business off the ground and no one appreciates all the hard work and skills it takes to be successful in a digital career. She says her gift is not inappropriate, it's just marketing. Some of the older relatives line aunts and uncles are starting to take sides too, but they're mostly really confused about what's going on. Anna's mom started crying because of something I said, and my mom tried to get me to apologize, which angered me more. At this point, I leave with my brother and his husband, because I don't want to spend the night with my fiancé at home, and I don't feel like going with my parents when my mom is pressuring me to apologize. Oh, and surprise surprise, Anna didn't give my brother's husband a card, so make of that what you will about the intent behind her gift. I'm seriously considering calling off the engagement over this and I'm angry at my cousin for ruining both Christmas and my relationship. I sorry you had to deal with that. That's honestly so disrespectful to gift your OF to the people married or dating family members. That was neither the time nor the place for that kind of gift. Also, I'm side-eyeing your fiancé because there were so many other ways to go about the letter and its contents. Thank you. It's so disrespectful. And I feel like my fiancé let me down big time. Why did he lie to me? My insecurities are telling me he was hiding the card so he could see Anna's OF. No side eye, I am flat out glaring at your fiancé. 1. Received it and didn't mention it to you. 2. Actively tried to hide it. 3. Lied about receiving it. 4. Doubled down and lied again about just remembering that he received it. 5. Tripled down and lied again that he didn't look at it. All of this in one interaction. Not gonna lie, I wanna know what you said that your mom wants you to apologize to your aunt for, because I would have been ruthless. Probably told her she is a hoe and a homewrecker, which is less of an insult than it is a fact. Rachel's boyfriend is the true hero here. OP's mother needs a Gotham reality check. Doubt she'd be thrilled if a young family member handed her husband a link to her naked pictures, which is exactly what this is. I don't even understand why she would defend this. Oh my god, I would cut that cousin off completely. That's so inappropriate and rude, and just freaking classless to do especially at Christmas. Spell it out plainly for the grandparents so they can understand. She chose to do this at a family function, so make sure everyone understands. Show the grandparents the page.